Bubbles looking good, Chris looking good and going in. Anthony here and on today's episode of Coastline Adventures I got something real excited today I got my bike on the back with two fishing rods I'm gonna explore the woods way out west so I'm gonna get out there and see if I can't catch some freshwater snook and some bass to show y'all stay tuned man it's gonna be a great day Snook. All right, well, there it is, little snooky. He's beautiful. I'm gonna drop him back down here. See if I can't upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No way. <laughs> A little mud fish. Oh my god. Well, there is a big mouth sleeper, aka mudfish, goby, whatever you want to call it. But I've definitely found the nursery. I found the nursery for the juvenile fish. So I'm going to move on to another spot. Water level's looking good, current's looking good. Everything's looking good. Lure's looking good. I'm going in. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Holy shit, guys! Oh my god! Come here, buddy! Ah! There he goes! Wow! Wow! That's my third snook I lost today! Man, that thing was massive, oh my god. Wow. Guys, the DOA terrorized lure, it catches the fish, man. But landing them, that's a whole different story. That's why I like using live bait and a circle hook. Get them hooked in the corner of the mouth, land them every time. Ah. Wow, that was a huge fish. Stay tuned till the end. I come back for redemption and have success. I'm going success. home heartbroken. I lost three huge freshwater snooks. Besides that, I managed to catch two juvenile snooks and a mudfish. I did have a lot of fun exploring this new place. I'm definitely going to come back with a new game plan. Determined to catch that fish that I just lost. Three, two, one. Yes! Yes! Wow! That's a freshwater spillway! Redemption on the beautiful freshwater snook. What's up everyone? Anthony here. Today's episode of Coastline Adventures, it's all about redemption. If any of y'all have seen the past video, I lost a huge freshwater snook on the DOA Terrorizer. Now to me that was just about four days ago, and that's been heavy on my mind ever since. I'm back out here in the woods way out west for redemption. I gotta catch that freshwater snook, so y'all stay tuned. Let's get them. That's what I'm gonna be fishing way in those woods today. It's gonna be fun. All right, here I go. Watch out, snooks! I'm coming for my redemption. I'm coming for my redemption. I've lost sleep over this fish. I gotta get it, dear snook gods. 
watch down on me today in the woods as I cast my lures into the whitewash of the spillway. Have a nice freshwater snook, bite my hook, and have it hooked in the corner of the mouth. May it come in nice and smooth. Amen, snook god. So I switched it up from the minnow presentation to the Shad Shiner presentation. See if that does anything here. Oh, fish on guys, fish on. Here we go. I'm just gonna flip it, I gotta flip it. Oh, it's huge, oh my God. Oh my God. There is going to be no flipping this snook. Come here, buddy. Come here, bud. This is it. This is my redemption. Come here. Come here. This is the one that I lost. Wow. He is strong. Yeah. You ever had a dream? Dad? Yes. Dad, dad. Yes. Yes! Yes! I got him! Yes! Redemption! I'm so glad! Wow! At the freshwater spillway! Yes! Look at this beautiful, beautiful freshwater snook I just caught! Wow! Wow! Guys, I'm gonna put a measurement on him. I think he might be slot. There it is. He's a 28 and a half, 29. I got my redemption slot snook. Yes. So there it is. My redemption freshwater slot snook. Wow, guys. I'm not one for keeping too many fish, but it is snook season. He is 29 inches long. He's in the harvest length. Guys, I'm gonna harvest this fish. I'm gonna keep him. I'm gonna cook him. He's gonna go to good use, guys. Wow, redemption on the beautiful freshwater snook. Yeah. I said a prayer to the snook gods this morning. <laughs> wow, the snook gods surely answer. Dear snook gods, wow. watch Thank down you. on me today. All of my hard work has paid off. I've put easily over 50 miles on my bike in the past month exploring all these new spots in the woods, all these secret places, places people don't know about, don't go to. Wow, all my hard work exploring, biking through the woods, trying spot after spot after spot. Man, mission success. Wow, man, I am blessed by the snook gods, y'all. That is 100% the fish that I lost at the spillway five days ago in my previous video. Wow, came back for redemption and I made it a mission success. It's always great. Wow, you guys can see the snook in my backpack. All right, I gotta get to my bike and then bike to my truck and then get home and play and cook this fish. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's Great episode of Coastline Adventures, redeeming myself on the freshwater snook in the woods. Wow. As always, y'all, thanks for watching. Coastline Adventures out. Bye. Stay tuned till the end for the filet and cook portion. All right, so I got my slot snook from Bicycle Fish in the Woods in my backpack. I'm on my way home. You guys stay tuned. If you're interested in seeing me fillet it, season it up, cook it and eat it, because that's what's going to happen next. This is going to be a short little one to two minute section. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Duke, look what daddy's got, buddy. Daddy's got, buddy. A snook. Yeah.
and go, boy, buddy, you're so sweet. You Ready to go get some snuck home? Some of this is for you, buddy. Watch the man who rode you. Switch from Our beautiful little snook nuggets here, guys. So the next step, you hold all you do is take, guys, take all your pieces and you have to dry them. All you do is pat them with some paper towel. After you got all the fleas portioned up, dried out, you gotta throw some seasoning on it. All I use is some black pepper, salt, all-purpose seasoning, and a little dash of honey on top. Alright, there you have it, finished product, fried snook nuggets and rice for lunch. Thanks for watching.